Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun balloon birthday project to share with you using some products from the latest March release, starting with the Blueprints 26 Dynamics die set. I'm going to be featuring this big old bowl balloon, which I love a good balloon. I'm going to first off die cut it into a panel of white cardstock. Just to get started, I knew I was going to make a little balloon bouquet and I kind of wanted to recess one of the balloons uh, behind this panel here. So that's what I did first. Now for the balloons. I'm going to do like two-tone balloons. So first I die cut the balloon out of a lighter shade of yellow and then out of a darker shade of yellow. Then what I do is I take that same balloon die, I kind of rotate it just a little bit so that I can kind of slice off or just die cut the bottom edge, like the bottom edge swoopy part of the balloon. And then I'm gonna adhere that on top of the lighter yellow. So it makes it a bit of a two-tone balloon, if you will. It gives it a little bit of shadow, little interest, more color. And I'm gonna do this repeatedly with several different shades of solid color cardstock. So here I have two shades of kind of peachy, uh, corally peachy cardstock. I did the lighter one and then I die cut the bottom half of the darker one and then again with two shades of pink. So you could really use a lot of different colors. You could customize this. You can even die cut more than just uh, like I just did one little swoop along the bottom. But if you wanted, you could break it up into two and three different segments of the balloon to add more color sky's the limit how you could customize your balloons. So I'm going to stop with three and I'm going to adhere these little swoopy edges onto the lighter shade. So I'm just using some liquid glue. You could also use tape runner, whatever type of adhesive tickles your fancy. Okay, so just lining that up with the little balloon, how it's tied at the bottom and very easy and it gives more color, more interest, kind of a fun little take, gives you a little more mileage and a fun different idea of how to use this Blueprints 26 Dynamics. Now these things, I think, there's several different ones in the March release, a baby themed one, uh, a rock and roll, and um, they're kind of, um, I think they were created to do like money cards. And you could, if you look at what the design team has done with them, how they add little, you know, rolled up dollar bills on them. Uh, this one here is just going to be just a standard A2 size card. So you don't have to only use these for money cards, but you certainly can use them for money cards. A lot of versatility. Okay, so now that we've got our balloons adhered together, I also wanted to die cut this birthday, kind of a birthday on a line. It's also part of the Blueprints 26 dynamic set. And I love that just kind of clean and simple birthday die cut. So I die cut it into some very light gray. Take my little needle retractable needle tool and pop out all the innards. And then I will trim this down to a smaller little strip so that I could adhere it along the bottom of my card like so. Okay, so I needed the word happy to go with my birthday, but I didn't want it to be too large. So I pulled out, this is the Yuzu Presents and Pup Cakes. It's a new stamp set that just came out in the March release, but I just needed the word happy. So you could rummage through all your sets until you find the word happy and find the one that's the right size. What I'm going to do here is emboss it in white on a little strip of black cardstock. So I'm not really being too careful to emboss the whole sentiment because I really only needed that word happy. Pouring on some white embossing powder and then I'll heat that with the heat gun. And then I'll trim this out into a little strip, just only the word happy. See where I'm going with that? So this happy will pair with the die cut birthday and so forth. Okay, using my little mini guillotine trimmer. You could also cut this out with scissors, but I don't know if you're like me. If I try to cut some with scissors, it's a wonky hot mess. And that's why I always rely on my guillotine trimmer. Now for this yellow balloon, I wanted to, uh, first I'm gonna crop off just that excess and I wanted to recess the yellow balloon. So I'm using tape runner, but I wanted to make sure it's lined up with my die cut panel and I'm gonna adhere the yellow balloon right onto my gray card base. So that one's going flat down. It's gonna be like recessed. So this will make the balloons like, the, you know, a little three dimensional, like they're coming out at you. And, and then I'm gonna pop up this kind of orangey peachy balloon. And again, I will just crop off that extra hanging off the side. You don't have to cut off the extra. I went round and round 
to cut off to not cut off. Um, either way looks good. A lot of foam tape on the back, popping this up so that yellow balloon looks recessed. The peachy balloon is popped up. And then of course, the pink balloon gets popped up as well. And then that little birthday on a line, just putting that right down there along the bottom. This all just kind of comes together with foam tape, a lick and a promise. And I love a good balloon bouquet. You know what I'm saying? Like then this little embossed happy tucking that right in there. And then I'll finish it off with a few of these little, um, what are these called? Bubbles by little things from Lucy. They're my favorites. And this card is finished. It's very simple, clean, simple graphic, a little two-tone swoopy balloon action coming at you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the new release with my favorite things. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.